Hello, Marvelites. You're watching a special mailbag edition of Marvel's The Polis. And I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Agent M. And I've got with me today X-Men editor Darren Shan. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. So Uncanny X-Men number one just came out. Uh, the fans uh, are checking it out. They're devouring it. But we asked many of them to send in their thoughts, their questions, their uh, missives about the first issue. The first one comes in from uh, my buddy Juan Chango Wences, and he says, is the X-Men reality kind of folding into itself? We see characters from Age of Apocalypse, Mutant Cures, the Mutant Liberation Front, and Bishop not being able to see time troubles coming. Is this their past coming to haunt them tenfold? So I wouldn't say that reality is folding in on itself, but uh, I, I would say that like the classic Avengers Disassembled story, we wanted to throw everything X-Men related at our favorite team and kind of just blow everything up. Keep reading because it's these things aren't happening by coincidence. Question two comes in from Ahmad S and Ahmad asks, so Apocalypse and X-Men are both going to be regular antagonists of X-Men Disassembled? Question mark, question mark? No, I, well, they, they're definitely gonna be regular characters in the book, but I don't know if they're gonna be, I don't, I don't know if I'd call them antagonists. I think the best Marvel villains tend to be the ones who think of themselves as heroes, you know, like Magneto or Doctor Doom, they all see themselves as uh, the protagonists, and it's the heroes that are that are their antagonists. So I would say that Apocalypse and, and X Men definitely have major roles to play in the X Men books for the year to come. Question three comes in from David P, and this one I will preface by saying that it caused a bit of a tiff between myself and Uncanny X-Men writer Matthew Rosenberg. We were at the movies last night. I told him what we were doing. I posed this question to him just to get his take on it. And we disagreed, but Darren, I need to hear your take on this. So the question from David is, does Iceman sweat? No, he doesn't sweat, he melts. So, okay, can I, can I give you my take on this? Yeah, go. In the history of X-Men books, and someone can and will correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember anyone ever saying, wow, Bobby, you're really cold when he's not iced up, which leads me to believe that he, his physiology is normal otherwise, right? Mm -hmm. So he may work out, he may do things, and he may sweat. That's a good point, and maybe we might address that in our Iceman book. And then you're just going to do this to prove me wrong, and I yep, appreciate yep, it, yep, Darren. Yep. This was great. I'm glad you could come up here. How can fans submit their own questions for Uncanny X-Men? Uh, you can send your emails to officex at marvel.com. Make sure you mark your emails okay to print, otherwise we can't print them. Uh, and send us all of your questions. Totally sweet. Thank you, Darren, for being on. Uh, check out Uncanny X-Men, which is now weekly for a little while. Uh, and check out Marvel's The Pull List, available every week in a video and audio version. We'll be back with more soon. I'm Ryan, and this is it. I was going to say, this is the X-Men. <laughs> you know what? I'm Ryan, and this is the X-Men. Your X-Men.